Hello everybody, this is another entry of CLAST. In this series, we go over subjects, topics, and ideas found in your academic psychology courses. While we cannot make you an expert, we can make you a bit more knowledgeable in just a few quick minutes. Today, we will be discussing the subfields of psychology in AP Psychology Unit 1. The subfields of psychology refer to the different areas of studies within the science of psychology. The study of the mind is a broad subject, so there are many different ways to analyze psychology. Let us go over many subfields in brief, easy to remember ways. Biological psychology are the mental processes that contribute to behavior. For example, if you are feeling extremely sad, looking at this from the view of biological psychology, the explanation would be a chemical or hormonal shift in the brain. Clinical psychology is the study of mental disorders. If you are looking at disorders in behavior, emotion, or cognitive ability, then it probably falls under clinical psychology. Cognitive psychology studies cognition, which can be best summarized as how the brain thinks, understands, communicates, and other processes of that nature. Basically, how your brain processes information, then uses that information, is cognitive psychology. Counseling psychology is the study of personal issues that are not disorders, but rather personal struggles and challenges. If clinical psychology involves a psychiatrist prescribing medicine for your disorder, then counseling psychology is the other end of troubles, involving therapists who talk through your problems. Developmental psychology is the study of how human brains develop over their lifetime. Educational psychology is a study of how we relate mental processes to improve learning. This area focuses on how we can improve education. Experimental psychology is a focus area in which we conduct experiments in order to better understand the mind. Industrial organizational psychology focuses on people and the workplace and is used to improve the relationship between the two to make employees and employers much better. Personality psychology focuses on personality and its effects on our thoughts and behaviors. Psychometric psychology is the study of measurements within the world of psychology and aims to correct and uphold standards on psychological experimentation and examination. Social psychology focuses on society as a whole and how humans influence each other. Positive psychology is the study of how us, as humans, can make our lives better. In this area, we focus on how we are able to feel fulfilled, strong, and happy to ensure a positive life for us all. And that is all the subfields of psychology, or, well, most of them. Please go do your own research as all this stuff is very interesting. This series aims to be mostly educational, unlike some of our other videos, which are more so interesting and more for entertainment purposes, but do also have some educational themes. If you liked it, please go check out some of our other videos, and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.